The state of Georgia was at the center of today's hearings on Capitol Hill in the investigation into the January 6th insurrection. Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger and the Chief Oversight Officer of the state's election, Gabe Sterling, testified in front of the committee today. They illustrated the ballot counting process that they went through to make sure the count was correct. We counted the ballots where the first tabulation would be scanned. Then when we did our 100% hand audit of the entire, all 5 million ballots in the state of Georgia, all cast in place, all absentee ballots, they were all hand recounted and they came remarkably close to the first count. And then upon the election being certified, President Trump, because he was in within a half percent, <coughs> excuse me, could ask for a recount. And then we recounted him again through the scanners and we got remarkably the same count. Three counts, all remarkably close, which showed that President Trump did come up short. A Georgia elections worker also testified today. She and the others counted ballots late into the early morning after election night. Both that woman and her mother, also an elections worker, were threatened, they say, and called racial slurs after the election. I haven't been anywhere um, at all. I've gained about 60 pounds. I just don't do nothing anymore. I don't want to go anywhere. I second guess everything that I do. Um, it's affecting my life in a, in a major way, in every way, all because of lies. For me doing my job, same thing I've been doing forever. Now the next hearing will be this coming Thursday.